it's a Hershey Museum this time, right? <laughs> Did you just put that in that water? Mm, no, that's not good. Come on. Yummy. Go see chocolate. My chocolate. Yeah. Of course, there was a note here that Mr. Murray, sometimes the president, stood by the clock and he wrote down the names of the people who were late. He didn't like anybody being late for their shift. Okay. <laughs> Are we late? No, you're fine. <laughs> we're getting pretty close. You're good. You're cool. Yeah. 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 This part of the museum is taking you through uh, a day in the employees at Hershey plant back in the early 1900s. So we're trying to pick out which job would be for us. And I want to taste test. Is that a job? <laughs> I'm going to put you in the knockout department. The broken stuff you can take. Exactly. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Nine cents an hour. If anything breaks, you can eat it. Really? That's my job. So we're taste testing some chocolates from around the world. Chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They do it for four days and four nights. Really? Well, they did back then. I don't know what they do now. But. Pretty much all the Hershey stuff we've seen has been really clean, well done. The employees have been super nice. I would say it's it's a very well done outfit. <laughs> They're proud of their chocolate. They are. I would be too. Yeah. Some good chocolate. <laughs> Bye, chocolate. <laughs> Bye, chocolate. know about chewing gum. So a couple of the big things that uh, Hershey's did for the United States, I guess, <laughs> it introduced chocolate before the Hershey's factory started kicking in motion. Chocolate was only for the rich because it was very expensive. So he figured out a way to mass produce it and make it cheaper for everybody else. And then he also, of course, created tons of jobs, uh, especially in the area of uh, Pennsylvania where we're at with his factories and the workers and all that. So. It was a mile from his house where he grew up and but that was pretty exciting getting to have chocolate for the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know we get excited. <laughs> Whether it's the three thousandths, three thousandths or the four thousandths four thousandths time. during the depression Milton Hershey gave all five churches here in Hershey Pennsylvania $20,000 to pay off their debt during the depression 
it's uh, pretty awesome. We learned some really cool history about Hershey. Um, he said, because my question was, who owns Hershey? Does his family own Hershey's? And they said that uh, they actually didn't have any kids, but they left it in a trust to Hershey School. And that is pretty amazing. So he has a school set up and kids live there. He, they take in orphans or kids that don't have anybody to take care of them. And they go all the way through school and graduate. And then they even can get scholarships up to $80,000 for college, so. Yeah, and this is a huge school and a huge, I think it was 10,000 acres. Um, it's actually bigger than the, than the town of Hershey. So he left all his money to him in 1945, and then not only that, he of course still had um, you know shares of ownership in you know, all the things that they owned in the area, and so the school is basically self-funded. like 30% of everything <laughs> Yeah, so still. They, they still get tons of money from all these different things going on in Hershey. Makes me want to go buy more chocolate. <laughs> it's a good cause. <laughs> The stone building was Hershey's original factory. Up until about a couple years ago, they just built a new factory, so that was uh, pretty cool. Now it's just office buildings since they built their new one. Now we're heading to drive by Hershey's school. place is huge. Um, I don't know if when you think of like a school for children you just think of maybe like one building or something like that but there's three different buildings an elementary school a middle school a high school there's somewhere around 2,000 students they've got their own um, I've seen like animal centers and uh, there's I'm gonna guess there might be hundreds of houses because <laughs> you got to think if you got 2,000 kids uh, you're gonna have a lot of houses going on they've even got I'm seeing right now we're pulling up to it but the athletic complex um, over here on the right. I mean, if you could picture a town of, I don't know, three, four thousand people or something, it's like a miniature town with all its own little things in that town. And I, I just couldn't imagine some of these kids coming from maybe what they came from to come into this kind of an environment it would be uh, really awesome to have this. They even have their own school district, like it's that big. <laughs> Some fun things to visit and try out. <laughs>